Welcome to the final video of the CSGO sticker tutorial. The stickers are ready and all that is left to do is publish them. So let's see what preparations need to be done first. After we publish a workshop item, we can upload pictures to showcase the item. As we saw in the second video of this tutorial, we have the option of taking screenshots in the SDK tool. So go to the SDK tool and take screenshots of all your stickers. The format of the screenshot pictures are saved as BMP files. However, the workshop only accepts pictures in JPEG format. You can turn them to JPEG using Microsoft Paint. Open the pictures in Paint, go to File, Save As, and choose JPEG Picture, then save the file. Besides JPEG pictures, you can also upload GIF images. For that, you need to capture a video and then turn it into a GIF. You can use the Xbox Game Bar tool that comes with Windows, which can be accessed by pressing the Windows button and G. If the tool considers the program you're recording as a game, then it will be able to record it. Simply press WinR and the recording will start. You can later edit the video by opening it with the Microsoft Movies and TV tool. However, for some reason, the Xbox Game Bar doesn't work too well with the SDK tool and captures the tool in a reduced size. That's why for capturing sticker videos, I personally use OBS Studio. I'll leave a link in the description, but feel free to use any tool that you like. After you finish editing your videos, you can turn them into GIF images for free by going to easygif.com. This online tool has many options and is very handy and easy to use. Just make sure that if you want to upload the picture directly to the workshop and not add a link to it in the description, make sure that its size does not exceed 2 megabytes. When you prepare all your files and feel ready to publish the sticker, open CSGO and then open the console. By default, it's the tilde button, but if it's not working for you, then you can go to the settings and double check there. In the console, type workshop underscore publish and hit enter. This is the place where you can submit stickers, skins, and maps. Choose sticker on the right side and press the add button below. In the submission dialog, you will need to enter the details of the stickers. You will need to submit at least two stickers. One should be a glossy or paper-backed, and the other one should be a hollow or a foil one. And if you like, you can submit three, but one must belong to the higher tiered stickers. For every sticker, add the relevant files. For all the stickers, you should provide the VMT and the base texture. For the holo one, you will also need to provide the holo mask VTF and the spectrum if you created one. And for the foil, you need to add the normal VTF file. Click on the browse button to choose your thumbnail. It should be in JPEG format. In my opinion, it's best to add a picture of your design for which you created the sticker, but feel free to add whatever you want. And finally, add the title of your sticker and some text that describes it. When you're done, check the checkbox that confirms that you agree to the terms of the workshop and click on Publish. You'll get another confirmation dialog where you should write I understand in the text field. Write that and click on Publish. Then wait until the game opens the page of your workshop item. And congratulations, your item has been published. However, we're still not done. You need to add the pictures that showcase the sticker. Click on add or edit images and videos and start uploading the pictures you captured. Final step in the entire process is to go down to the bottom of the page and confirm the revenue share. If you worked with other people on creating the sticker, then add the agreed upon percentages for everyone. And when you're done, click on finalize. This concludes the CSGO sticker tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. And if you found the tutorial useful, please support this channel by subscribing to it.